M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Meshtastic off-grid network. Here is the Heltec T-Beam device. There are several devices, but today we're going to flash the firmware on this device, although it does already have it on from the factory. I ordered this from AliExpress. Meshtastic have provided this software called flasher.meshtastic.org, or let's call it a tool for easily flashing your device. So you connect it via USB cable at the bottom there and to your PC. If we go right click device manager on the Windows square here, right click device manager, double click where it says ports and you'll see our USB enhanced serial is COM11. Okay, so let's just minimize that. We have the T-Beam device, it has built in GPS and the LoRa device or basically a mini radio on 868 megahertz that talks to other LoRa devices off-grid no 4G no internet required so let's drop down T-Beam here and go we're already at the T-Beam let's drop down the list we have a long list we can choose from we're going to choose T-Beam okay it's the older one then we're going to click here on the firmware we're going to just choose the top beta one and then flash and when we select flash it does ask us to find our board rate normally but it's there selected and also our our com port so let's just do that again flash and click update the com port is now being asked for and we were 11 click connect and it should just do it which it is as you can see and at the end of it, it will reboot. And the only thing we have to configure at the end of that is selecting EU 868 megahertz. Everything else it pretty does for us. Shouldn't take too long, three or four minutes. You won't see much change in the actual unit until the process has finished. You can see the green bar going across and don't worry because if you get it wrong then you can just do it again you i could have selected this tick box here for a fully raise and it's in store if i wanted to and you can do that as well coming near the end and then we'll show you the app so download the meshtastic app on your phone that's what i do and turn on your bluetooth so it says that it's complete now and you can see it's rebooting there. So let's grab the app. So it immediately starts to ask for us to pair. You can see the number on our device here, 322533. So when you swipe down, you turn on your Bluetooth, pair device, it will ask for that number we'll put that in just tap on your phone and type in five five six one three it's different every time click ok then we'll go back to the app and we should be able to talk to our device now so let's go to our user and that's our device yeah, we can select licensed amateur if we want. Let's go back one. Channels. It's the long fast channel. Going back. Now when you first log in to your LoRa, it will say to you whether you want to use EU 86A or it's a, a long drop down list. Because I've used this one before, it's not asking me to do that. And the page that it will ask that on is this one here be the first page you see and when you just select EU868 and it reboots your device and just make sure that it's working on that which it is then if we go to messages you can see these are previous messages that we've got just here and the channel look the message that we've sent out messages that we're receiving 
see if I can send a message from, I've got this unit here. See if I can send a unit, sorry, a message. Give that one a go. Now it looks like I need my phone, but I'm filming on my phone, but already it's, it's talking to, to this device already, even though we're not actually messaging each other, it's showing that we are in range. So I can probably send a message to it though. So let's try that. So we're going to go tap here and then we're going to go H. I'll grab the device so you can see it. We're going to go H3 and then send. And that, there you are, look, it's virtually instant. And of course, they're right next to each other. And that's the idea. You've basically got these radios. 868 megahertz radio sending messages to each other, but they're off grid. There's no network involved. They're just sending it via, you know. That's it. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel, loading the firmware onto the T-Beam. Bye for now.